Now facing a 24-year sentence for charges including bribery, Far Glory Chairman Zhao Tenshong was released after posting a record of 550 million NT bail. Asked if he has words for the head of the company he's fighting with to renegotiate the Taipei Doom contract, Taipei Mayor Ko Wenzhe said that business people should be satisfied with profits and not become too money grubbing. Ko vowed to stand his ground on the contract's negotiation. Having criticized Far Glory Chairman Zhao Tengsheng for being too greedy, Taipei Mayor Ke Wenzhe insisted that his city would renegotiate rather than dissolve its contract with Far Glory in the ongoing Taipei Dome collusion scandal. In dealing with the Taipei Dome affair, I still believe we have to act as a responsible government and exercise restraint rather than take advantage of the situation to dissolve the contract. Ke has long faced criticism over repeated delays in the construction of the Taipei Dome, but now he says he is prepared to wait to see justice done. Because of the Taipei Dome, our approval ratings were stuck and falling, and everyday pundits and city councillors were criticizing us. But are we supposed to just cave in? Actually, there were several points when I almost reconsidered, but I think in the end the Taipei Dome needs to be safe. When negotiating the terms of the Taipei Dome contract with Far Glory, Li Shude, former head of the Taipei City Finance Department, agreed to waive the city's right to royalties on the project. Now, prosecutors are seeking a 10-year sentence for Li, whom they accuse of corruption. Ke, for his part, said he would seek to renegotiate the city's share of royalty payments in the contract. No Far Glory employees, including Mr. Zhao Tengsheng, have been charged in relation to the Taipei Dome case. The mayor doesn't need to join in this crusade, and I think that the personal case of Mr. Zhao Tengsheng will not become an excuse by the city government or Ke to pass the buck. Far Glory representatives remained adamant that the company would not give in to the city's demands to renegotiate the contract over the as-yet-unfinished indoor stadium lying empty in East Taipei.